head coach Jack Owens as the men's basketball team gets ready to open Mid-American Conference play on Tuesday against Buffalo and then heads on the road to Bradley on Saturday. Coach, we'll let you make some opening comments and then open it up for questions. Yes, we're looking forward to this week. Uh, obviously starting conference play with Buffalo tomorrow and, and then Bradley at the end of the week. It's just going to be a great uh, opportunity for us to play and, and play against some, uh, you know, two good teams that are well coached and have good players. All right, questions for Coach Owens. Jack, what do you know about your team after four games that you didn't know going into the season? Yeah, uh, we're, we're still trying to figure things out. You know, I, I believe I said it last week in regards to, you know, we're four games in, but, you know, usually you get, you know, exhibition game or, you know, or two exhibition games, inter scrimmage and, and those things early on to figure out your team where we're learning – who we are as a team as we play games. And, you know, you know we're, we're doing as much as we can in practice, but this is an exciting time for us um, to, to play against some quality opponents in Buffalo and Bradley this week. Um, but as but far as my team, um, you know, I think we're doing some good things defensively. Um, obviously, we can continue to get better uh, in a lot of areas. And offensively, I think it's just a work in progress as we continue to build our chemistry and, and, and play and get in sync and, just just make shots and also improving our conditioning as, as as we play games as well. Coach, can you give us a little scouting report on uh, Buffalo tomorrow night? Yeah, just a very talented team. Uh, Sagu, Grays, Williams, uh, you know, those three guys who, who have played for them, uh, you know, have all conference kind of talent. Uh, you know, they're going to look to push the basketball in transition. Uh, score after makes and misses and you know they were the best rebounding team in the country as well uh, a year ago so you know with them is transition defense ball screen d and dribble containment are the three things defensively we have to do and then offensively uh, you know we have to settle in and, and take what the defense give us and play with uh, you know play play with confidence and and just make our rhythm shots but also getting paint touches with deep drives and post-ups What do you know about Bradley? I have not looked ahead that far yet. Um, I, outside of a, you know, watching them play a game, just just for because I don't have any hobbies. But I, I have not looked that far ahead. I, I I know that Childs, who's who's a good player, and you know uh, they're a good team. We obviously played them last year. I have a you know some idea of what they do offensively, but. Uh, no, they're 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 a good they're a good team, but all my focus right now, sorry, is on, is on Buffalo. Coach, through three games, you've had different players step up, different games. Uh, you know, Delonte against Western Illinois, Makai obviously, Isaiah in the last game, and Dayday in the, the first game. Uh, what happens with this team when they all kind of hit together here? Man, I'm, I can't wait for that to happen, Bake. Hope, hopefully we get that tomorrow at 530. You know, I, I, I just so early. I think every team in the country is trying to figure out who they are and, and, and who they're going to become and the things you need to work on. And it's right here. I mean, this is, this is why guys uh, decide to come to Miami to play against teams like Buffalo and, and the other teams in our league. Uh, but we want to get off on a, a good start. But I, I'm excited to see that. Obviously, we're not peaking right now. Uh, but, but when we all – uh, can can figure things out and get on the same page from an offensive standpoint. I think we can be an exciting team and, and and a team that can score points in bunches. Coach Buffalo was our last opponent of the 1920 season before an abrupt finish, and we weren't supposed to play this game until February. And all of a sudden, now it gets pushed up here to December. A little bit of irony, deja vu for you playing them at the start of this season or the conference season, yeah. I should say. Yes, it's it was you know I I tell the guys and the staff all the time we we have to be flexible and you know knowing that you have to play Buffalo right off the bat uh, for your first conference game is just part of the course uh, you know they're the last team that we faced uh, you know last year in the MAC tournament 
um, you know, we're, we're just excited about the opportunity to play and, and get off on a, a good note in regards to Buffalo. Uh, they're, they're, they're a well-coached team. They're good. Uh, it's going to be a dogfight. I'm excited. I wish we could tip tonight, to be honest with you. But we're, we're looking forward to, 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 to competing. Uh, the guys are excited. We had a great practice yesterday. We're going to do the same thing today to get ready uh, for tomorrow. But, th- but this, is, this is it. Uh, you know, ready or not. Um, you know, is, is here. So we have to be ready to play and uh, just get out there and play at a high level. And that's what that's what I'm looking forward to watching the guys do because I know we're going to game plan. We're going we're going to do the things necessary things to get ready for the game. I was just putting it together for 40 minutes. Coach, how, how impressed have you been with your players' ability to handle the unique circumstances of this year so far? You know what? I, I I'm 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 just happy uh, for these guys and ex, you know the the way they have accepted everything from 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 everything that we have to do that's different in, in regards to the COVID nineteen. I'm I'm just happy and um, you know thrilled to be able to coach this group uh, because we've been very fortunate not to have a, a positive test yet, and they're doing everything that we're asking. Uh, from a program standpoint and, and making a lot of sacrifices in doing so. Uh, I couldn't imagine being a player and, and having to go through this, to be honest with you, and, and everything that they have to do. And, you know, you, you, you put school on top of that and everything else. But I do know this, uh, the two hours that we're together uh, in practice and games uh, from the mental standpoint for these guys, I, I know it's refreshing. Uh, but But everything that they're going through, uh, in regards to this year, it, it, it is what it is, you know, and, and, and we just have to take each day and, and each week that we get to, to play and take advantage of those opportunities. But, I, but I'm, I'm happy with, 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 with what they have done and, and, and what we have done as a program and our administration has put us in position to play games.